So do you want to tell us a bit more about how the reintroduction efforts have gone and how we now have illegal beavers, which is weird. Yeah, I find this find this incredible. Um, I mean, so like you said, I think there were some efforts in the past where people were unable to distinguish between the Canadian, American, North American beaver and the Eurasian one, because morphologically they are basically the same. So we have had cases of a few mishaps in terms of releasing the wrong kind of beaver. <laughs> one of the first trial reintroductions of legal beavers um, was in 2009. And this was in Napdale um, in Argyle, so that's up in Scotland. And I think that was the first legal one, actually. Yeah, no, I, th I think yeah. that was because that was using Norwegian beavers from Telemark. So it's all... And they fall on the right side of the West Euro Western Eastern Divide. Yeah, so these are the right kind of beavers and what was done, it was a five-year trial. So this tends to be the theme with beaver reintroductions is that you'll introduce a very small number, often just a single pair, and then you'll need vigorous scientific monitoring for about a five year period to see if, it, if they're gonna have a positive impact or not. Since this 2009 reintroduction in Argyle, so actually where Roby and I were looking for beavers on the river Otter, um, confusingly yeah <laughs> they need to change we also did see an otter on the river otter just to make it even more confusing but yes <laughs> oh, there I think you also have a licensed legal beaver project that is currently being monitored but originally they were illegal yeah the, De the Devon ones they started out illegal and then someone realized that oh my god there's 150 beavers running about so this illegal introduction is actually the largest population in England now <laughs> but now they are licensed and mm. now they've been because I think the largest the illegal one is up in Tayside in in Scotland yeah. Um, yeah so that is about 250 individuals and this is a couple years ago oh so it could even be more um, we should go to Tayside we definitely should but um I don't know, I just find it mental that you've got legal, illegal beavers in there. Because there's now such a big population, they are now shooting beavers in Tayside to, as a means of trying to reduce the numbers, which for a lot of conservationists, this seems mental. Like, there are suitable areas across the UK where they could be translocated to, so there has been a lot of um, sort of divide in that as to why they are shooting these beavers. Yeah, absolutely. Just if you've got if you've got too many beavers in an area, trap them and then transport them to somewhere where there aren't beavers. So I know the the last population of beavers in Wales before they were driven extinct was the River Typhi. Yeah. And apparently it's now being considered for reintroduction area, which is obviously super good. But you know, we don't have to pay the Norwegians to give us ten beavers if we want to reintroduce them to Wales. We can just have some of the problem ones from up Tayside bring them down and you know they might have to change their accents pretty quickly um, I, I feel like they'd from... adapt beavers are pretty versatile oh yeah yeah they'd have this lovely kind of welsh welsh kind of <gasps> a welsh scottish fusion fusion accent now that would be nice I, oh that would be amazing yeah <laughs> anyway we are completely off topic with these people so yeah the long and short of it is you have legal beavers and illegal beavers in the uk now 